So I pulled this hot rod up to the shop. I'm going to start pulling the uh, the pedals and disconnecting the steering. Cut the wiring. All the jazz I don't need. And uh, maybe I'll just pull the body off outside the shop here. Because really once I do that I just cut the body mounts and then deal with the shifter. Yeah, a couple little things. And uh, lift this sucker off. Well, that was amazing. Anybody from uh, the rust belt knows what this is about. All the body mounts actually unbolted without any problem. That's pretty crazy. Um, I'm just in the process of taking the sun visor off because the way I'm about to take the cab off is probably not very... Well, that worked out well. So, we're a little bit for closer to uh, getting this thing together. And this one, we'll just strip out the few parts that I need and uh, yeah. I guess I saved myself some work. Now all I gotta do is get those other truck cabs into the shop, at least the black one, and get that top pulled off of it. Hey, Bob. How's it going? Well, we got our winter project in. Starting on this big boy. The big old international. So I'm going to start, the plan here is to start dismantling this thing and starting to fit it to the body. Get the front onto that Cummins chassis. So yeah, she's a big girl. Oh. Got a big motor, which is tight. It's got a pretty uh, spacious interior. It's got some super cool seats actually. This will make some pretty neat hot rod seats, I think. Look at them things, eh? But it's pretty much your typical international interior. Nothing fancy. You know, maybe fancy, maybe not. I don't know. But anyways, it is the base of my donor truck. Nice part is there's no rust. Crappy part is I'm gonna be cutting this sucker up. <laughs> Uh, oh well. Things happen. The plan is either make an extended cab or a crew cab. I'm not sure which will happen. But, first things first, I'm going to have to get the tanks off. They're not staying on. I'm taking those off. Um, Got to disconnect all the hoses and stuff. Because I want to lift it off as one unit with the nose all the sheet metal, I don't want to take it off. I like to keep it all together if I can. I'll pull the rad out after 
and uh, stuff like that. I don't know if I'll use that red. That is a huge red. Uh, it'd be so sweet if I could have the air working with the shutters, but I don't know. I don't have high hopes for that. So, yeah, let's get started. Start tearing this sucker apart. So I pulled the fuel tanks off, which is for in hopes that I'm going to have an easier time getting at all my mounts and everything else. So I don't know if you can see under here. Let's see if I get you in there. The cab's not held on by much. You got a mount back there. We have two mounts up in the front here. And uh, I'll have to disconnect the pedals and the steering. I'm not using this steering. At least I don't think I am. No, I don't think I will. I think I want it to be a little more comfy than that. So I'm going to get the steering out. Although it is a pretty neat wheel. I'll probably save it. It does have the blinker and stuff in it. So that could be used on a hot rod or something. So we may as well save it. It's got the cool little IH in there though. So we're going to save that. Under the hood I still got a whole bunch of stuff to, to muck around with, get disconnected. We got the heater hoses. We got to get rid of all that. There is a lot of air stuff happening, so I'm not sure what any of that is. None of it's going to get used, so... Um, and then a lot of other cables for things. Which, again, I don't think a lot of stuff's going to get used, so I'm going to pop a lot of that off. But I do have to go underneath there and figure out how I'm going to disconnect my pedals and my steering and all of that stuff. So, keep plucking away. My goal for tonight is to get the body ready to yank off of this thing that would be my goal even more goal if i actually got it off had her lifted off but we'll see we'll keep uh stabbing away because we got to get all like stuff like this off which this thing stays with the motor but i don't want to wreck any of the cables yet <laughs> maybe i can use them or repurpose them for something so yeah we'll just take all of this stuff off and see if we can repurpose it. Be a good air cleaner, eh? I don't know how that would work with the Cummins, though. Anyways. I'm a little ahead of schedule here. It's still early. So I've got the tractor warming up. I'm going to uh, try. I know I still got to do the heater hoses on here. So I'll just cut those. I'll check for fluid. The rad's too hard to take out as it is. So I'm going to try lifting the tractor, the, the international up. So the idea is to lift it up and pull it forward a bit, a bit so I can get the fan past the rad and lift it off. We'll see how this goes here. So I got all the bolts out. I'm not sure how this will fit in the truck. So I'm going to pull this rat out and we'll see what happens here. Because it's clearly too big and there's a lot of stuff going on down here. Because it kind of comes way down. Anyways, um, letting the tractor warm up. Then I'm going to go push this forward. Get this thing somehow situated on my hoist so I can lift it up. And we'll see. 
And we almost have to keep that stuff, eh? Check out that horn. Have to figure out some air. <laughs> Look at that thing. It's wild. Oh, too bad I can't leave that patina on it, eh? Look at that moss, the mold growing on it. That is great. Oh, wow. Anyways, back in a bit. All right, well, I'm not sure at which wire, but at the first one that I snipped, I made an executive decision that I'm going to uh, put a new wiring harness in the truck <laughs> instead of Mickey Mousing around with this. That was the plan. I decided that on the go. Plus the wiring looked kind of crappy. It looked good in the truck, but it looks kind of crappy down here. So we got her all loose. She's free. Now I'm going to, uh, well, I don't know. I don't need this anymore, so I'm pretty much going to shovel this thing straight out the door. I don't know if this truck had some other issues in its life because it looks like the exhaust has been disconnected. I don't know. I know it's tight. How tight? I don't know. Maybe somebody was working on taking the motor out? I don't know. Anyways, we are. Uh, I'm going to slide this sucker out and I guess I'll push in the other chassis see where things sit may as well right it's still early i haven't been bucking around too long here what are we ah, it's only quarter after nine it's still early okay let's push this thing out I don't know why. A lot of people seem to luck out when they do these, and I just never seem to do that. So it looks like um, my motor's too far forward. Like this wheel isn't perfect, so it's got to go ahead some more, but you can see where my fan is. She ain't going to line up with nothing there. So we'll dismantle some of this. I'm going to get all this stuff off the front. Um, may as well disconnect the exhaust. I'm probably going to have to shorten drive shaft, move the whole powertrain back. Seems kind of the norm. Shifter will go through that spot, not terrible. Well, depending how far back I push it. I'll probably have to modify the uh, firewall and stuff. So I'm on the fence. I kept the other truck yet. So depending how, because I don't want this very high. My goal is to run those super singles and have as little to no lift as possible on it i don't want a jacked up truck i just want it to look you know big the big wheel just fit the wheel well nice that's my goal um so anyways i had the the dodge cab still so i'm gonna maybe i'll cut out the firewall i don't know we'll see whether it makes sense to use it or make one we'll find out do the old wheelbarrow thing or whatever um but for now I gotta get all this stuff out. Uh, and then I'm probably, like that radwood cooler, like no problem. <laughs> but I think I'm gonna take this rad out as well. And uh, I would like to have 
my own rad. I wouldn't mind doing, you know, having the intercooler still. Um, the condenser, like if I want to put air conditioning in this thing, I'd like to have all those things. So, first things first, I'm going to get this bumper off. I'm going to get all this junk out of the front. I'm going to drain the coolant. Yeah. So let's get that out. Then I can kind of set the cab down a bit and I can get a, a look at what this thing's going to look like. Well, kind of doing a rough fit test here, and uh, this truck's going to be a lot bigger than I thought. <laughs> uh, so I was kind of thinking that's about how much tire to wheel well I wanted. But with that said, this truck's still going to be tall. Uh, I'm going to have to rethink this a little bit. Well, it's not terrible big. It's just, it's a big truck. It's just, yowzer. Like the frame's got to go up. The body's staying where it's staying. But the frame will come up. I have to get my wheel adapter so I can get the wheels on the truck. And then at least I can set the body to my wheels. It's kind of the goal. So, yeah. She's going to be pretty tall. But it also, like, if you look at it, there's here, so I'm pretty sure she's going to be a full-on crew cab. Because this is uh, my wheel to here. So the cab's just about. The cab actually has to come back a bit, but nothing major. My box is sitting here. This thing I can scoot around a little bit left or right. My plan is I'm taking a set of wheels, a set of fenders like the front, and they're going in the back here. So this will go away. I'm going to have the big swoopy fender in there. Uh, that'll plug up the wheel nice. So it gives me all of this cab. So yeah, it's a good sized cab. Like I think I'm going to get almost a whole door in there. From what I can tell. That's a lot of room. It's still a tall truck. Dang it. Man, I thought it'd be a lot lower. Oh well. It's not the end of the world. Not the end of the world. Although it doesn't have to be that high. I can still bring it down some. Not a lot though. It's only a couple inches. So I'm not really gaining a lot. <laughs> Either way. Oh, what are we? I think I'm like 10.30 or 11 o'clock. I think I'm going to call it a night. Yeah, it's like 10.30. I don't know. I don't think I did too bad today. That'll do. That'll do. Wheel adapters are a must. Need to get those going. Alright. 
So I think that's where I'm going to leave this one. So I'm going to thank you guys for watching. Uh, we'll catch you on the next one. Hopefully I have some more exciting things happening here. <laughs>